OP1 desktop software, which is where you create your songs and set lists and then um, send them to the pedal onto your SD card. So this is a beta release of the software. Not all of the functionality is working and there's also some extra uh, testing controls and things which won't be in the final version. So I'll create a new session. We don't have any set lists yet, so I'll create a new set list by clicking here. And then I can add some songs to this set list. And then I'll name this Tour 2022. And I'll name this song, Song 1. And this one, Song 2. Um, I can also create more set lists and songs if I want. And these can be reordered um, here as well. And all of this can be sent to your SD card. So you can have multiple set lists on the same SD card if you want. Um, so let's go into song one. So this is the wave mixer for song one. So I can load in up to six waves here. And I also have the auxiliary input, uh, which is another sound source that I can use. These are the levels for the six outputs and the headphones output. These are set list levels. So this is um, adjusted for the whole set list. If I change it here, it will be the same for all of the songs. The wave mixer is per song though. So um, now I'll just load something into the first wave slot. So I'll load in a bass. Um, I can change the channel name from the default. You've got two um, characters you can use. So now that's lit up to show that it's active and that it's rooted to channel one. So uh, output one. So if I switch to output two, you can see the bass is muted here because it's not actually rooted to this one yet. But if I want, I can turn it on here and now it's rooted to one and to two. So in channel two, let's just turn that off again and I'll load in a new wave for here. So here I'll send the drums. And now the drums are going here. Output three. I'll send percussion. and output four. I'll send synths. So now we've got um, one wave rooted to each of these four outputs. Now what I might want to do is use this, which is a stereo wave indicated by these two circles here, this synth track. I might want to use it as a stereo wave, so have left and right on separate outputs. So if I wanted to do that, I could take outputs five and six here, which are not used right now, click this button, which stereo pairs them, and now they have one um, output level control, so you can adjust the levels of five and six using the same control. I'll go back to four here and turn off the synth here and send it here instead. And now I'll have left coming out five and right coming out six. And then the rest of uh, one, two, and three still have my bass, drums, and percussion. So maybe we have a drummer who's going to be using the headphones output over here. So if I go to this, maybe I will send them all of these. And I'll also load a click track for them. And now the drummer has his own headphones mix with bass, drums, percussion, synths, and the click track. Uh, and you can see the other outputs don't have the click rooted to it. So the front of house won't hear the click. Um, maybe they don't want to hear so much of the bass or the percussion or the synths. So you can adjust the mix just for the drummer and give them a bit more click if they want. Um, also, you can turn on and off the auxiliary output if you want here. So maybe you have a live guitar or vocal rooted to the auxiliary and you want to send that to the headphones as well. So I've just unmuted that, which means it will be sending here. Now, if this song, um, once you've put your whole set list together, if you found that this song was slightly too loud, um, you can use this song adjust, which if I just took it down by like minus two or three, for instance, that's the equivalent of turning down all of these uh, knobs by minus three. So it will just take down the output level 
for this song for all outputs by minus three. Um, so I can also load MIDI file if I wanted to, just like that. Um, and at the end of each song, you have the options to cue next, play next, or loop. Um, so I'll leave it on cue next for now. Uh, the BPM can be set here, which will just adjust how fast the visual metronome fl flashes on the pedal. So when I'm done with this, I just hit done. And I can also uh, choose to duplicate this song if I wanted to or um, rename it. Um, when I've got my session ready and I'm happy with it, then I would just send the session to the P1 and then that would update the SD card and I'm ready to go play.